a lot of students who take my intro to environmental science, um, we, we hear a lot about the state of, of the natural world today. And our perspective on the natural world is informed by a mixture of faith and reason. We look at things from a scientific perspective. But I also encourage my students, when you're looking at things from that scientific or clinical perspective, there's still space, there's still time to recognize the glory of creation, the, to recognize that, that this is an amazing planet, this is an amazing organism that I'm studying, and, and this is an amazing person that I'm talking with. And I always go back to them and just go like, but that was one cell. That was one cell, you know, fusion of sperm and egg. That was one cell and look what you became or look what that blue whale became. That sense of wonder is so incredibly humbling and healthy and holy that I think you have to, you have to cultivate that, you have to nurture that because we lose that as we grow old, if you will. We become, now we know everything as high schoolers or high, you know, teenagers or, or even you know, 30 or 40 year olds. There's so much wonder that's still there. And I think if we, if we keep maintaining and cultivating and nurture that, I think that that makes us a better person. It certainly helps us to care for God's creation and be, and be the faithful stewards that, that Laudato Si and, and Pope Francis call us to be. Every integration of faith and reason allows us to do that. And I think that that's one of the most important things about our perspective and our approach is that they're, they're still called to be holy, but they're also called to be wise in the ways of science and, and reason.